All right, well, I've got some really good news for the guys working on electrostatic uh, motors and generators and such. Um, this uh, study I've done with the graphene or the thin graphite directly applies to these electrostatic devices. And I made a rotor here with a very thin coating of graphite uh, for the segments. And then the brushes are that... Uh, are made out of that uh, cellophane tape, cellophane tape with the graphite powder on the sticky side just stuck on these little bowls and it worked extremely well and it was very very easy and I think we could do the same thing on the Wimshurst uh, machines and all these electrostatic machines is get away from the aluminum and the, the brushes that tear it up and go to graphite uh, graphite brushes and graphite segments and all I did here for the rotor was I just sanded segments with the sandpaper lightly and then just rubbed a pencil on it and buffed it and then for the brushes it's just the cellophane tape with the graphite powder if you get it it's a, for locks and stuff on the sticky side and you leave a little bit of the sticky left over to attach to whatever you want to attach to and there's your carbon brush graphite fiber brush and I'm going to show it here today with a real simple way to do this this is just a high voltage capacitor um, that I've charged up using a bug zapper circuit and you've seen this before in some of my videos but it makes a real good way to show how this thing runs and how well it runs on the graphite fiber I mean the, uh, the graphite uh, segments and the uh, and uh, brushes and I was real real happy to see that and it makes uh, making these electrostatic devices simpler than having to use the aluminum foil tape because all you got to do is rough up a surface and and put that graphite powder in the little scratch marks and you've got a segment or for the brushes like I say that's uh, just the cellophane tape scotch tape with the graphite on the sticky side and it worked really 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 good and like I say uh, the application for a Wimshurst is really good to get away from the friction and the tearing up of the, the rotor with the brushes. It just works really good. I'll stop this and start it again show you how it self starts. And like I say that's just pencil lead uh, scribbled on the scratch marks on that rotor and that makes the segment for the rotor. Of course you have to use a, a plastic that you can do it with. It's a not conductive that will hold the uh, graphite in the plastic. But it worked really really well. Anyway I just want to share that with the guys working on electrostatic motors that this uh, thin coating of graphite and it's not graphene it's just thin coating of graphite works quite well on these electrostatic devices. Thanks for watching.